Just breathe your name upon me Young hey, or hey is your name Breathe along Just breathe your name upon me Say, Father, to joy, Father, to joy, Spirit to spirit, rises by your word. And in the local eyes, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. That's how I change my world. Say, Father, to joy, Father, to joy. in the house. Good evening to you all. You are welcome to today's service. Welcome, 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 welcome to today's service. Today is the fourth day of the program. I must share my testimony. And I believe that people have already started sharing their testimony. And I know because some have called, I know that you are among those that are still going to share their testimony. Amen. Good evening to every one of you. Good evening, Lydia Bright. Good evening, uh, Elijah Ezekiel, good evening to 
uh, Esther Love. Good evening to Ima Odiese. Good evening, Pat Owosun. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Please, as you are coming in, please invite others to join us. Invite others to join us, please. And if you know that the video is not too clear, you let me know. Just help us. I just want a clearer view, a clearer view. If you know that it's not too clear, just let me know so that I can adjust it. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. God mm -hmm. bless every one of you for joining us this evening. God bless you all. God bless you all. I welcome you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome to today's service. Hallelujah. The Lord. God bless you. I bought the destiny. My, my blood brother, God bless you. Amen. God bless every one of you for joining us this evening. Please, if you know that the video is not too uh, bright, just let me know. If it's dimming, you let me know. If it's dimming, you can shift it this way a little. Just shift your chair this way a little. As in giving it a triangular okay. shape. So that let's see what happened there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think it is okay like this now. I can see that it's okay like this now. I think it's okay like this now, yeah. okay okay it's okay it's okay god bless you god bless you i think it's the wave god bless every one of you for joining us this evening god bless you amen god bless you i can see everybody in the house god bless you thank you so much my daughter god bless you ima odiasi god bless you thank you amen i accept it i receive it in jesus name so this evening we are still going to commence from here we stop yesterday remember the topic remember the the theme of the program i must share my testimony and our anchor scripture was on uh, uh the word of god is power which is on uh, uh, matthew we read it last uh, four days ago now so today we are going to continue from where we stop. Amen. Amen. Today we are going to use another scripture. Still under the word of God is power. We are still going to use another scriptures today to back up all our prophecies, all our claims, all our uh, pronouncements. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to be using the word of God to still back it up. So please, I want you to join me to invite others. Please don't make this place so empty. Invite others, make others to be among the people that will be benefiting benefiting from this uh, program today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So before we go, before we go further, let's take the word of prayer. Let's take a word of prayer together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we say thank you this evening Amen. for bringing us together. We are here again, oh God, to hear from you, yes. to receive from your throne of grace. Father, King of glory, we pray as we come together this evening to hear from you. May it be your word and not my word. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, come and have you avail for your children. Amen. Come and have your way in their lives. Amen. Come and manifest yourself to them. Amen. Lord, glorify yourself in this service. Amen. Let as many of us, O oh God, that have come together this evening to hear from you. Make us, O oh God, a blessing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Abba Father, I pray tonight, O oh God, that your word will be sharper than two edges sword in our hearts tonight. Mm -hmm. O oh Lord, King of glory, let your work quicken us, O oh God, that your mm -hmm. name alone be glorified. Mm -hmm. We cover the arena with the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. and we cover the service with the blood of mm -hmm. Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is my baby girl. Ah, unstoppable blessing. God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome to the house. God bless you. Join mm -hmm. Nefo. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everybody in the house. God bless you. Let's quickly comment so that the time, you know, time wait for nobody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this evening, there is a title, there is a message that God said I should give to somebody. And that message is, your doors are open. Amen. 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 Your doors are open. If I were you, I would tap it there. My doors are open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just say it to yourself. My doors are open. Praise the Lord. Amen. No matter what it is, your doors are open. Praise the Lord. Amen. No more shuts of doors. Nobody can shut your door anymore because the Lord in heaven has by himself opened your doors. So your doors are what? Open in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the first scripture we are going to be reading this evening is from Revelation 3 verse 8. Revelation 3 8. Let's quickly go there. Revelation 3 8 says... Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation 3.8. He says, 
Hallelujah. Revelation 3 it says, it says, I know your works, but I have set before you an open door. Amen. Amen. And no man can shut it. For you have a little strength and have kept my word and have not denied my name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mark this scripture this evening. He said, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door. That I know your works, it means that he knows that you are, you are a little bit weak. He knows that you are not doing according to, you are not meeting to his expectation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God said he knows. He knows that you are not meeting to his expectation. And for that reason, he said, for that reason, he has set before you an open door. Amen. A door that you could have by yourself struggled to open. God said he himself has by himself set that door open for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said he has set the door, what? Open. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He has set the door open for you. And that door that he has opened for you, no man can shut it anymore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That door is open and it's open forever. Hallelujah. The, the door is open, is open forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Please, I just want to connect. I just want to connect some people here. I'm coming. I just want to connect some people. I don't just want to leave the place open let me just connect some people because some people might be waiting and i've not really shared it's there oh I'm coming. I'm just to connect sorry okay now you can be helping me out there thank you god bless you amen, amen. praise the lord amen. so as we are saying oh that is my daughter philo god bless you my sweetheart god bless you god bless you god bless you for joining us god bless you amen, amen. so he said, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door. And no man can shut it. In another word, he knows your strength. He knows your ability. He knows. He knows that your service to us is not 100% uh, complete. He said, but he himself, the door that you, have, you, you could have struggled to open, him, God, has opened it for you. Amen. And now that he has opened that door for you, nobody is permitted to shut that door against you anymore. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the door of God has been opened for you. The door of Jehovah Amasha has been opened for you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you, Stanley. God bless you. Amen. Amen. He said, the door that he has opened for you, nobody can shut it anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. And Praise he didn't the stop there. He didn't stop there. Felix, God bless you for coming to Felix Faith. God bless you. He didn't stop there. Look at what he said again. In, uh, in Isaiah 22, verse 22. Isaiah 22, verse 22. Amen. Amen. He said, I know your works in Revelation 3, verse 8. He knows you. He knows everything. That is why I always tell people that don't pretend. Come as you are. Praise the Lord. Come as you are. When you come as you are to God, don't pretend. You are pretending to your creator. We need not to pretend to him because he knows everything about us. All you need to do is to come to him. Baba, this is where I am 40. Have mercy. Help me. And he will definitely help you. Needless of all us to be, to be, to be giving excuses to our creator. You can as well deceive everybody. You can succeed in deceiving everybody. But you cannot deceive God. Hallelujah. Praise because he know the intent of your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will show you so many scriptures. Because he told Jeremiah. He said, Jeremiah. He said, hey. Jeremiah, you are complaining. You are complaining. Don't you know where were you before I created you? Do you know where you, where you are when I created you? He was asking Jeremiah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so it is this evening. God is telling me to tell him, stop pretending to him. He knows your works. And because he knows that you are a human being, that you cannot be able to fulfill all his, all his covenant, all his commands, he said what? He said, by myself, the doors that you would have by yourself struggled to open, I have opened it for you. Amen. 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 So the doors are open unto you today.
today. Doors of opportunity is open. The doors of joy is open. The doors of uh, acceptance is open. Amen. The doors of favor is open unto Amen. you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this program, I must share my testimony. Your doors are open. Yes. No matter how they try to shut the door, the door will no longer be shut. Amen. Amen. He said, no man can shut that door against, against you again. Revelation 3 verse 8. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, nobody will shut that door against you again. God bless you. Amen. Priest Osas. God bless you, my son. Amen. 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 In Isaiah 22 verse 22. Let's go there. Isaiah 22 verse 22. Isaiah 22 verse 22. He said, and the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open and none shall shut. And he shall shut and none shall open. Amen. Amen. Who is God talking about? Uh, Jesus. Now that you, as, you, you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, the key that he has given, that God has given to, to Jesus, that same key, he has used it to open doors of opportunity for you. And he has used that same key to lock the door of poverty. The door of shame, the door of reproach, the door of sickness, the door of premature death. God has shut that door. Amen. The only door that he has permitted to be open unto you now is the door of opportunities. Amen. Amen. So your doors are open. I want you to tap it on the screen and say, my doors are open. Your doors are what? Open, open in the name of Jesus. Amen. By his word, your doors are open. Amen. If you are there this evening listening to me, apply the word of God unto your life. Apply his word. Stand upon his word. Amen. Amen. As you walk with his word, the doors that soever that any man has ever, ever locked in your life will be open unto you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all for your support. God bless you. God bless you for your support. God bless you. Please help me to share the video. Share the video to others. Amen. Make Amen. other people to, to come in. That is the only way you can evangelize too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now listen. In Colon in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. 1 Corinthians 10 13. Many of you, you are there now. You are looking. You are listening to me. I have been telling you people this. That no matter what it is. God is God. Whatsoever it is, there is nothing you are passing through that nobody has ever passed through. People have passed through it and they came out of it with victory. So your own will not be exempted. Amen. 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 I said your own will not be exempted. Amen. Other people have passed through the same thing you are passing through. They came out testimony. Amen. Amen. They came out victorious. Amen. Amen. Why did they come out victorious? Why did they come out, come out, came out with, uh, with uh, uh, a winning heart? It is because they believe in God. It is because they hold the word of God tight. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may say it is my word. It is not my word. Now see what he said in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. He said, there is no temptation taking you by such as is come unto man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you are able. But will we with the temptation also make a way to escape yes. that you may be able to bear it no matter what it is god is going to make a way of escape for you Amen. god is going to make a way of escape for your children Amen. god is going to make a way of escape for your family amen amen, amen. no matter what it is praise the lord Hallelujah. no matter the prediction of the wicked concerning you there will be a way of escape. Yes. Because that is what it says here. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. 1 Corinthians 10 13 says there is no temptation. That is not common to man. That means there is no temptation that nobody has ever passed through. Whatsoever you are passing through that other people have passed through it. Amen. Amen. It might not be the same name. But it is similar. It is familiar. Every other person has passed through the same thing. But they came out of it. If they could come out of it, and it, it not becomes a testimony, or it not become an history, your own will not be different. Amen. Your own will not be different. Amen. Your own, you will still get your testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, another thing I want you to do for me is, I would love you to be hearing from God, not from man. As 
I'm speaking to you now. Connect yourself to the heavenly place. Let it not be me speaking to you. Let it be that it is the Holy Spirit by himself that is talking to you. Remove me as a human. And let God have his way. Amen. And let God begin to manifest all that he said he will do for you. Amen. Amen. Let God do what? Manifest all that he said he will do for you. Amen. If you are looking at this preaching today, like a human being preaching, you will always say, I saw everybody they talk, and I saw the pastor they talk, and then I saw that they brainwash people. Until you leave the realm of the, of the physical and enter into the realm of the spirit. Connect with God spiritually. Let your soul, let your soul be acquainted with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. That is the only way you can get the understanding and get the belief of what we are saying here now. Because you are, you are there and you are telling me, you, many of you now with a carnal mind, we say, ah, this one that this woman is saying, eh, my doors are open. How is my doors open? If my door is really open, will they shut, will they shut the door against us? Will they say we should stay indoor? Will they be COVID-19? Will there be this? Will there be that? Why have I not achieved my blessings from January to this very moment? Today is the last day of the month. I have not even achieved anything. Everybody, in January, they were telling me, I will be this, I will be that. Till now, it is not coming forth. Listen, if you are that person that is having that mentality right now, I need you to kill that mentality because that is carnal mind. Get yourself into the realm of the spirit. Connect with God in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Begin to visualize how God has said it. Begin to visualize what God has in stock for you. Hallelujah. The because Lord. the word of God says, He said to me to tell you, if it were to be my word, that is where you would be doubting me. In Revelation 3 verse 8, he said what? He said, I know your works, so I know your works. I know you are not a, you are not frequent in the church. I know that you don't pay your tithes uh, regularly. I know even your offering is not satisfactory. I know sometimes you are very greedy to give. I know sometimes you are very stubborn to my house. But in this all, I still have the mind to bless you. Mm -hmm. I still have the mind to open that door. And the door that I open for you, nobody can shut it again. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, the glory of God cannot be taken away from you. Amen. God bless you, Bridget. God bless you, Ato. God bless you, Ikato. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I can see every one of you here. Thank you so much, Sister Rosemary Thomas. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You say, I know your works. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know your works. So, like what we just read here now, you might be there. You might be there and you are complaining bitterly. You are complaining in and out. You are complaining. And you are saying, let me tell you, if others could get victory, you will get victory. Amen. That is what he told us now. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, you will definitely do what? Get your victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You will definitely do what? Get your victory. Amen. Amen. In, in Revelation 3 verse 20, Revelation 3 verse 20, here is where I said you must be connected with God. Revelation 3 verse 20. He said, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and, open, and opens the door, I will come in to him and will swap with him mm -hmm. and he with me. What is this place telling us? It's telling us that if we, or if we, if we hear the voice of the Lord to hack him onto his instruction, to hack him onto his instruction, what are those instructions? It's not all the time you'll be talking, that shall not steal, that shall not kill. Those are just common instruction. But do you know the main instruction you need to listen to God? Let your faith be moved. Let your faith be on top. Amen. Amen. Let your faith be so great with God. That is one of the, the moves that you need to make. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is telling you, if you hear his voice and open up unto him, he will come and sup with you. It is a glorious thing when God comes to eat with us. Hallelujah. Praise Thank you Lord. so much, my baby girl. Um, uh, let me see. God bless you. Amen. Amen. It will be a good thing when God comes to sup with you. What does that sup mean? Comes to eat with you, dine with you. Amen. Communicate with you. Have a good relationship with you. Hallelujah. 
Somebody's door must be open. And I believe that that door is already open. Amen. Because in this program, I must share my testimony. There are some prophetic utterances that we make. It comes to pass. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in that same effect, in Hebrews 11, 6. Hebrews 11, 6. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. 11, 6. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Lord. now listen, in Hebrews 11, 6, here is what the, what the word of God says. He said, be but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God, but for him that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. This is one of my best quotation in the in, in, in my in my preaching yes. i always quote this scripture hebrews 11 6 yes. i always say it i'll say as many that believes he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him amen amen why do we diligently seek god carefully seeking him you are cautious of him praise the lord Hallelujah. you are careful with him because a little slight the devil can take hold of you. So that is the more reason why we need to be very, very, uh, 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 very, very smart. Be vigilant. Let your faith not be moved. No matter what you are seeing. No matter what you are seeing. You might be watching me now. If you a photo, it's now. You don't have it. I tell you this this evening. Don't bother. It's in my heart. It may be a hot. You may be watching me now. You say, Mama, do you know what I am really passing through? Do you know that to even eat now, I, I find it difficult to eat? My dear, my God will make a way for you. Amen. My God will make, as I'm saying it now, my heart is bleeding. If only I know where you are living, I can assist you. Yes. If only I know where you are, I can come to your place and give you aid. But if I cannot come, may the God of heaven send you a helper Amen. that your word will be in their hearts Amen. that until they meet you they will not rest Amen. your doors are open Amen. your doors are open Amen. my god is big to that extent that he can put your name in the heart of a man or a woman that is living in america yes. and that person does not know you but your phone number will be with the person and the god will tell that person call that phone number until the person call the phone number he will not have rest yes. And when the person will call you, we tell you, this is the reason why God said I should call you. Yes. I don't know. God said I should just call you. And I called you. God said I should give you this and I give it to you. That will be your portion. Amen. Mama, the house the other day, he gave a testimony. She gave a testimony. What was the testimony? After the death of our papa, our, our bishop, my own, my own father, I call him my father. Amen. Amen. After his death, they need to build a university. And Mama said it was a little bit difficult. They were looking for a convenient place where they can build the university. And it, it was difficult for them. They found, they found a plot of land which they desire. But the money is not there. He said as they were praying, hoping that God will provide them the money, the resource to buy the land. He said of a sudden, a Muslim man, a Muslim man, came to the church at the church premises where they were having service. There is nothing God cannot do. Nothing God cannot do, my dear. Nothing is too impossible in the hands of God. I'm telling you this. He said, when the man came in, he said the man just came and walked into, into the church. He said, I am looking for the pastor of this church. They said, Mama came out. Mama said, I am the pastor of the church. He said, you are the pastor of the church. He said, though, I don't like you people. I don't like church. I don't even like you people. I don't even like you. He said, but there is something that is telling me to give you this. He said that. The man just handed the, 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 the document of the land to her. As the man gave the document, the man left. As he opened the document, he said, let me see what is inside this place. As he opened the document, it was the, it was the document of the land. Wow! As mama said, okay, let me say thank you. The man has gone. See, today they did not see that man again. Hmm. I don't know 
God is talking to? Is there anything too hard for him to do? Listen, it's not only food that we that will be given to you. God is going to cause an opportunity that you have ever, never, never prayed for. It will locate you. Amen. An opportunity that you never dreamt of. God will put it in your hands. Amen. Something we orchestrate it to happen. Amen. 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 So God is telling me to tell you that your doors are open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your doors are open. Hallelujah. Amen. Irrespective of what it is, your doors are open. Amen. It cannot be shut anymore. Amen. Amen. That is our Acts scripture. That's Revelation 3 verse 8. Always read that place to yourself. Oh, Father, thank God you know me. In and out of me, you know it because I am your handmaid. Always pray with it. Say, Father, I thank you because you know who I am. Because you are the God that created me. You have made me to know today that you know me. And because you know me, Father. Oh, Baba, you say you have opened a door for me. Yeah. And this door that you have opened, nobody can shut. Mm -hmm. Father, let me locate these doors. Let me locate these doors. So many people's doors are shut. So many people's doors of opportunity has been closed. Mm -hmm. But by the reason of this meeting today, those doors are reopened. Mm -hmm. I take the key from the pit of hell. Yes. I take the key from whosoever that is with that key. And I open that door for you. Amen. I open your doors of glory. Amen. I open your doors of honor. Yes. I open your doors of victory. Yes. I open your doors of opportunity. Amen. I open your doors of fruitfulness. Amen. I open your doors of marital breakthrough. Amen. I open your doors of children. Amen. I open your doors of education. Amen. I open your doors of finance. Amen. I open your doors of marriage. Amen. I open your doors of ministry. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your doors are open. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's go on. In 1 Corinthians 16, verse 19, verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16, 9. 1 Corinthians 16, 9. Yeah, in the word of God. He said, for a great door and effectual is opened unto me. And there are many adversaries. Amen. Amen. This is Apostle Paul talking. Apostle Paul, this time you are going to pray. As you are listening to me now, you are going to pray. Any man that want to hinder this door that God has opened for me, may that person sleep and not wake up. Amen. Anybody that want to be an hindrance to this my open door, may you never see the next day. Amen. You are going to pray. Because this is Apostle Paul, when he was trying to talk to Timothy, he was trying to express, explain his life to Timothy. He was the he was a senior in the ministry. Uh, uh, he was senior to Timothy in the ministry. Amen. Amen. He was senior to Timothy in the ministry because he was like the father of Timothy. But Timothy was a selling. But Apostle Paul find out that no, the place he is now, this is not where he's supposed to be. This is what I told us three days ago that nearly to get it is a syndrome. Nearly to get it is a syndrome, and that syndrome need to be destroyed. That syndrome need to be to be cash to be cash and be put to shame. Amen. 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 Because he said to Timothy, he said Timothy, oh, know that I don't know that this I know that opportunity don't cost my way. Oh. Know that opportunity don't cost my way. Oh. Opportunity do comes my way, but do you know what? Each time opportunity comes. There are enemies, there are adversaries that always stand against my opportunity. So it is to you people there. There might be somebody watching me now, one or two persons watching me here now. Opportunity do come your way. People do try to promise you things. There are the peak of that thing coming to you. You will just see that it just terminated. You will just see that the things are no longer working. There is a spirit behind it. 
before we commence, before we go further, let's pray one prayer tonight. Father, any man, any woman that has become an adversary in my place of breakthrough, any man, any woman that has become an adversary in my place of promotion, any man, any woman that has become an adversary in my place of elevation, wherever they are, may they catch fire by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Rakaba sekete le kaya kata si talada le bosoro koya kata se kata la de le de bosoro hi kalada se tele. Ema ma 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 ra da ra ke basu ya la ba. I rakaba se me da ra ke bo ya da ra da da. I kata la da basi ya la da para da le bosoro koya kaba se kete le hi kata sa kata ra da hi da ra da bosoto ya la ba. E re de 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 e re ke le bosoro do ya tele da ba ya da ba sa. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you, you are watching me now. I feel like crying for you. I feel like crying for you because where you are now, that is not where you are supposed to be. You are greater than where you are now. But there are so many enemies that are tied your waist. They hold you by your waist. They, whenever you want to move, they will drag you back. Whenever you want to move, they will drag you back. Tonight, they will catch fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. by the reason of the anointing, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. anywhere they are dragging you back, dragging you out of your promotion, dragging you out of your testimony, right. dragging you out of your miracles, right. dragging you out of your acceptance, right. dragging you out of your glory, dragging you out of your success. So they, I said, let the cash fire, Amen. 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 let the cash fire, the cash fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, Apostle Paul said, Apostle Paul said, he said, Father, he said, hey, listen to me. Know that I don't know how to pray. Know that I don't know how to give. Know that I don't know how to sow. Know that I don't know how to go to church. Know that I don't know how to prophesy. But things are not working. The enemies around me, they are too much. The enemies around my destiny are too much. That same brother that is working there now, I taught him how to walk. That same brother you see there now, I taught him how to do that thing. Know that I don't know how to do it. But because there are enemies around me, I am not known in my father's house. Mm. I am not known in my in my, in my, in my generation. Sure. I am not known in my society. Sure. Today, wherever that thing is that has been dragging your glory out of your head, yes. I command them to give it back to you. Amen. I shake them out of your life. Amen. I shake them out of your life. Amen. I shake them out of your life. Amen. Your doors are open Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your doors are open. Amen. Your doors are open Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your doors are open Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say your doors are open. 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 Amen. I say your doors are open Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, for a great door, an effectual one, which is a very beautiful door, a promissible door has been opened unto me. He said, but do you know what, Timothy? He said, Timothy, he said, but there are so many adversaries. There are so many enemies dragging me back. And there are so many enemies dragging my destiny. There are so many enemies dragging my home. There are so many enemies dragging my ministry. There are so many enemies. Today, that enemy disappeared. Amen. I said 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 that enemy disappeared. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to his holy name. Amen. Ah, we reverence you tonight. Yes. Lord, we give you praise, O King of Glory. Amen. We worship and adore your name. Amen. For you alone is worthy. Yes. You alone is worthy. When you say yes, no man can say no. Amen. When you lift one up, no man can break you down. Yes. But, but today, every door that you have opened for your children, I command those doors to keep opening. Amen. I command those doors to keep opening. Amen. If it is one door that was open before, I open three. Amen. If it is one door that was open before, I open three. Amen. If it is three, I open six. Amen. If it is six, I open nine. Amen. Amen. I command it to begin to double. Amen. Triple, triple, Amen. triple, Amen. triple doors. Triple doors. Triple doors. Triple doors. Triple doors. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory be to his name. Amen. In Colossians 4, verse 3. Colossians 4, 3. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Colossians 4, 3. 
Amen. Amen. I worship your holy name, Lord. You are worthy of my praise, Daddy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now listen. He said, with praying also for us, that God will open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bond. Now, I want to quickly explain this to you. That not only members, that their doors are always shut. People, enemy do shut the doors of ministers. When I mean ministers, I mean generally. It could be a chorister. It could be a singer. It could be a preacher. It could be an evangelist. It could be an apostle. In any field, in any field, as long as you are under the grace of ministration, your doors can still be shut. And you will just be doing it. This are not working. This are not working. I have another testimony to share. A man of God, a promitable man of God. You all know this man. This man has a church in, in Lagos. The church is very big. He said there was a time in his life when he's, he's in his any age, uh, any stage of, of ministry. He said, he said uh, they were almost, I think, uh, at about five years old in the ministry. He said, but people today that we gather tomorrow, you will not see them. Today, people will gather tomorrow, you will not see them. Today, people will gather, they will be happy. Ah, people have come. He said, tomorrow, oh, oh, the place will be empty. He said, I begin to ask. People were just passing the place. They will be going to another place. He said, he began to ask God. Then he now went into fasting for 100 days. He said, at the night, at, at, at the main, I don't know, at the time of his fasting, that was where God revealed to him. God showed him that your church has been covered with a veil. Amen. Amen. He said, there is a veil covering the church. He said, he asked God, what kind of veil is this? And at the end of it, they find out that the veil that was covering the church, do you know the veil? They use the canopy of white garment church to cover the church. That when people are seeing the church, they see people inside the church, all of them wearing white garments. So they thought it was Aladura church or Celestia church. So people at that time, they don't like that church. So because of that, they did not go. Until when God opened his eyes, he prayed. When he prayed, the veil was rolled away. The canopy was rolled away. And when God rolled away the canopy, that same Sunday, when he goes to the church, he said before he came to the church, he said he saw that people were jumping inside the auditorium. Then they were giving, they were now welcoming uh, visitors. They were welcoming them. And as they were welcoming them, they were asking them, how, how did you know that? How did you know? How, who brought you? How did you come? Who evangelized to you? He said, one of the members said, the newcomer said, he said, ah, Thank God, though, when I don't change the church name, when I don't change the church back to a uh, better church, we just say, nah, nah, do that, nah, they yell, nah, make us not the enter. What? The enemy succeeded in covering the glory of that church. I don't know who's listening to me. This is applying to you. You might be a singer. You have a very good voice, but nobody is listening to you. You might be a designer. You have a, you have the potential to design things for people, but people are not recognizing you. Your doors were shut. But after today, that, those doors will be open. Amen. Those doors will be open. Amen. It will be open for job opportunity. Amen. It will be open for job uh, for business opportunity. Amen. It will be open that men and women will begin to run into you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The then uh, uh, Apostle Paul said, "Please, you people should pray for us. So we are tired." Pray for us because eh, we need God's manifestation. We need to be praying. We need to be praying for one another. As I'm praying for you people, that you people should be helping me to pray that the gift that the Lord has given to me will not die in me. Amen. That God will help me to use it to change my generation. Amen. That God will use use me to affect my my generation. Amen. That men and women that will come across me that will be blessed through my my gifts. Amen. That is my own prayer point. Amen. 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 Your own might not be ministration. That any gift that the Lord has given to you, that the enemy has shut the door against, may the Lord open it for you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So many people, so many women and men of God, they know what they are doing. But things are not working. 
things are not working. After today's meeting, those doors will be open. Amen. Those are supposed to be recognizing you pray for people. They get their miracle. Instead of that to call you and say, oh, thank you, woman of God, or a man of God, for the prayer you pray for me. God answer you through me. Like God answer my prayer through you. But you know what they do? They will take that testimony to somebody else. From today, your testimony, your glory will not be given to somebody Amen. else anymore. Your reward will not be given to somebody else anymore. Amen. A man of God pray for a brother. The brother said he needed a financial breakthrough. And the brother was indeed in need. He was, he was in need. The man of God just said, okay, do this and do this. He prayed. After the prayer, do you know what happened? Within one week, this man fell into wet. He fell into breakthrough. He, he, he hit the jackpot. But do you know what he did? As he got that jackpot, the first thing he did, he called the wife of the man of God. He said, oh, sister, help me to thank God. God has visited me. God has re he has, he has reannounced my name. God has given me a victory. He said, and I said, I, the, the, the woman of God said, ah, thank God, thank God. They happy. They were happy for him. Amen. Amen. After, the, after the testimony, that was all. When the man of God now came back and called the brother, brother, ah, this is what I had. Did he really happen? He said, yes, a man of God. The man of God was waiting for his tithes. He was waiting for appreciation. The brother never showed. Instead, he took the tithes, he took the, the appreciation to somebody else. A person that did not know how the prayer was done. I don't know who is listening to me. It must not be when they need you for trouble. That is when they will call you. Even at the time of testimony, they should call you and share their testimony with thanksgiving with their hearts. Amen. Amen. You will not be laboring anymore in vain. Amen. The Lord said, a must gift make room for him. Your gift that the Lord has given to you will make room for you. Amen. He will make room for you. Amen. He said, the Bible said, he said, the fame of Jesus went far. Your fame will go far. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. In John 10, verse 7. John 10, 7. Let's go there. John 10, 7. Please share the video if you have not. Please help me share the video. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. John 10, 7 said, Then said Jesus to them again, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. Hallelujah. I am the door of the sheep. He said, All that I ever came before me are thieves and robbers, that the sheep did not hear them. Amen. Amen. He said, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Jesus speaking here. Jesus is the door. If you are here this evening, you have not actually accepted Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. Or your relationship with him is not so tight. It's not having a good foundation. I want you to build a re, a re foundation with God. Because anything we are doing here today, without the name of Jesus, it is impossible. Hallelujah. So you need the name of Jesus to open those doors that the enemy have ever shut against you. It could be that it was your father that they shut the door against because why? Your father who did not know Jesus. Now that you have knew him, you have to open those doors by reconnecting yourself back to him and ask him to have mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. That in any way you have ever sinned against him, let the message of God speak for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Your doors are open. Amen. And it will definitely open. Amen. 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 Finally, my brethren. Finally. Let's open to Matthew 7, verse 7 and 8. Matthew 7, verse 7 and 8. Matthew 7, verse 7 and 8. It said, Ask and it shall be given, given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and you shall and it shall be opened unto you. Praise the Lord. He said, mm -hmm. Everyone that ask receive, and he that seek finds, and he, to him that knows it shall be opened. Have you ever asked God? <laughs> you have been complaining. You have been complaining. Complaining. Have you ever asked God? Ask him. There is an open check to you. A check has been given to you. An opportunity is given to you. 
that you should ask. Ask him. That doors will be open. Amen. Seek and you will find. Most times we use it in a worldly way. We will say it verbally from our mouth. After all, the Bible says we should ask and it shall be. Dead. But spiritually, have you actually asked God? You need to go back to God and ask him that thing you need. You need to tell God that in this program that I am partaker of today, I must definitely share my testimony because that is what they told me that in that church they do share testimony. So I want to be among those that will share my testimony. Yes. So for this reason, Father, every good thing that has been withheld from me, let it be given back to me. Amen. Every good thing that has been withheld from my husband, let it be given back to my husband. Amen. Every good thing that has been withheld from my children, let it be given back to my children. Amen. Every good thing that has been withheld from me as a woman, as a man, as a girl, as a boy, Baba, I take it back in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. I take it back in the name of Jesus. Amen. I take it back in the name of Jesus. Amen. I take it back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Collect them back by fire, by thunder. Amen. The Lord said, "You shall, you should ask. You should be, you should ask, and it shall be given." He said, "You should seek, and you will find." Amen. He said, "Knock, and the doors will be open. Amen. What door has been shut against you? Command those doors by knocking. Command those doors. Say in the name of Jesus, I command you door be open. Amen. I command you door be open. Amen. The door of opportunity be open. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Declare it upon yourself. Today my doors are open. Amen. Today my doors are open. Amen. My doors of business are open. Amen. My doors of joy are open. Amen. My doors of elevation are open. Amen. My doors of promotion are open." Amen. My good doors are open. Amen. My good doors are open. Amen. Wherever you are shut, I open you. Amen. Wherever you are shut, I open you. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray for yourself. Pray, 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 pray. Command those doors to open. Command those doors to open. And they shall be open forever. Yes. Command those doors to open. Yes. And they shall be open forever. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah to his name. Yes. Command those doors to be open. Amen. And they shall be open forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever your doors are shut. Command it to be open. The doors of your glory. Yes. Command it to be open. Your doors of victory, command it to be open. Yes. Your doors of elevation, Amen. command it to be open. Amen. Your doors of your children, Amen. command it to be open. Amen. Your doors of your family, Amen. command it to be open. Amen. Your doors of testimony, Amen. command it to be open. Yes. Whatsoever doors they shut against you, command those doors to be open. Command those doors to be open. My doors 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 be open. In the name of Jesus. Reke Malika Saparada Lebo Sele Keya Catalada Mele de Bosoro Koya Cabalada Serenda Ledeba. Ima Mamarada Lebo Soro Koya Catalaba Sialaba. Araba Baba Lede Mani Yalada Sereke. Eke de Sekete. Balada Sakata Nana Malada Saraka, Ika Balada Seraka Boyada Le de Bosoro Koyada, Ike Tetele de Bosicata La da Balada Basse de Recata Seterade, Emma Mamma Malada Seracata Ikata Sara de Le de Bosia Rasa Madesica Tabala da Sakata La da Basara da Boyade, Iba Baba Babale de Boyaba, Araka Balada Basana da Balana Nana, Iba Mameke Bosoro Coboco da Sacaba le Catisica Manana Madesaca de Le Bosucu to Yacata Lida Baya. E papa rada sakana na na ma le de le de le ke buku tu se ke te le de i ke se ke te rada ma de si na 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 e ka ba le de se ke te rada si ke te la e e ne 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 e re ke te se ke e re ka ya da sa ha ma la da sa ka i ba la da se le de be de e e ka pa pa la da 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 i ka ra da se re ke bo ya da na e ma 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 re ke la ba se in the name of Jesus, they are open, 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 they are open in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm rounding up with this. 
In Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Hallelujah. The, the word of God is quick. Yes. The word of God is power. Amen. I don't know who God is talking to. Oh, I feel the presence of God in me so strong. I feel his presence. His presence is so strong in me. Holy Ghost, your doors are open. Amen. Your doors are open. Amen. In the east, Amen. in the north, Amen. in the west, Amen. in the south, Amen. wherever you are shut, wherever that door was shut, I command it to be open. Amen. In your father's house, open. Amen. In your mother's house, open. Amen. In your city, open. Amen. In wherever you are open. Amen. There you were born to open. Amen. I command your doors to be open. Amen. Your doors are open. Your doors are open. Oh my God, your doors are open. Amen. Your doors are open. Amen. I see this happening. Somebody you are receiving right now. Amen. I see somebody receiving. Amen. Your doors are open. 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 Amen. Your doors of opportunity are open. Amen. All the good doors that were shut against you, I command that to open. Amen. I command that to open. Amen. I command that to open. Amen. By the anointing of this program, I command those doors to open. Amen. The authority in the name of Jesus, Amen. I command those doors to open. Amen. Ah, they have no choice that to open. They have no choice that to open. It is the name of Jesus uh, that is answering to everything. Amen. The name of Jesus uh, and the mention name of Jesus. Uh, every name must bow. Amen. Every talk of first uh, that Jesus is Lord. Uh, I command those doors to be open. Amen. Wherever they shut it, I command it to open. Amen. Wherever they shut it, I command it to open. Amen. Wherever they shut it, I command it to open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah 9, 29, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, says the Lord. It's a thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thought of God towards us is for good. The thought of God to us is for good. Surely there is an end. The end of your sorrow has come. Surely there is an end. It will not tarry for a long time. There is always an expiry date. The expiry date of that thing has come. Amen. For the Lord said, I know your thoughts. I know my plans to us you. The plan of God to us is for you to see job opportunities. It's for you to see opportunities all around your destiny. And I say to you today that those opportunities will relocate you. Amen. They will relocate your home. Amen. They will relocate your ministry. Amen. They will relocate your children. Amen. They will relocate you. Amen. Anywhere you have been denied access of opportunities. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are receiving them back again. Amen. 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 You are receiving them back again. Amen. You are watching me now. You know what I'm saying? That it will happen in your family. Your, your people ahead of you has given a testimony concerning this. Even your younger ones have said it too. That each time they want to get that breakthrough, something happens to take it away from them. But I've come to tell you tonight, because we are in agreement tonight, according to his word, in Amos 3.3, he said, can two work together? I said, they agree. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, he said, I said, they do what? They agree. And because you are coming in agreement with me tonight, what God said concerning you will come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are rounding up. The thoughts of God towards you will never be taken from you. Amen. The glory of God in your life will never be taken. I pray for you today Amen. that you are blessed beyond measure. Amen. What you have been looking for in the past, may they come back to you. Amen. May your doors be open. Amen. May the doors of your children be open. Amen. May the doors of your marriage be open. Amen. May the doors of your victory be open. Amen. May you get your victory in, 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 in one touch. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. In the name of the Son. Amen. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching.
God bless you. I remain your sister, your mother, Pastor Juliet Ogbebo. That is who I am. Please, I want you to like my page in Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Still the same name, Pastor Juliet Ogbebo. And God will richly bless you. Amen. And please, I want you to stay safe. Obey every instruction they give. If they ask you to stay at home, stay at home. Please, always make sure you wash your hands. Wash your hands if you don't have sanitizer. Always watch whatsoever you, buy, you bought from the market. Any product you bought, wash them before making use of them. Always make sure that you are, you are in a very good condition. Please, make sure your children are in a good condition. Always keep your home clean. And don't forget to pray. Okay? And God will bless everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.